pregame.com. This is Brad Powers in the pregame.com studios just off the Vegas trip. And we're counting down my top 25 power rated teams entering the 2018 college football season. Without further ado, should come as no surprise as the team that tops the charts here. At number one is the defending national champion, the Alabama Crimson Tide, fresh off yet another national title. That's now five in the last nine seasons for Alabama and Nick Saban. Let's talk about this year's team. First and foremost, 10 returning starters for Alabama. Why do they top the list as far as my early power ratings? Let's start on offense. Main reason, this could be, that's right, the offense, not the defense for Alabama. The best offense in college football this season, at least on paper entering it. Let's start off at quarterback. Jalen Hurts, a two-year returning starter. Might not even start week one. Why Tua Tunga Vailoa, the hero of the national title game, will most likely beat him out? You look at the running back spot. A couple of Harris's, Damian Harris, back-to-back 1,000-yard -back rusher and the, also another star of the national title game. Najee Harris might actually beat him out. You look at the offensive line, 103 career starts. Add it all up. This could be the first time since 1945 that Alabama tops 40 points per game. Second main factor breaking down Alabama this year, though, a little bit of a concern. Let's talk staff turnover. Since 2015, Alabama has now had seven, that's right, seven different offensive and defensive coordinators combined. This year, Alabama must replace both their offensive and defensive coordinator. And chances are, when you got to replace guys like Kirby Smart, Lane Kiffin, Brian Dabble, Jeremy Pruitt, year after year, sooner or later, Nick Saban, as great as he is, is going to miss the boat on one of his coordinator hires. And if that's the case, then Alabama, there might be some concerns. And also a concern, let's talk roster. Alabama, 12 players drafted in the NFL draft. Alabama gets players drafted in the NFL draft every single year. But those 12 players this year, a program and SEC record amount. So a lot of turnover there for Alabama. A little bit of concern. That leads me into my best bet. And I'm actually going to fade Alabama specifically in week four against Texas A&M. I'm going to take their opponent, Texas A&M, plus 22 in that matchup. I think Texas A&M much improved this year. Let's start off at head coach, bring over a national title winning coach in Jimbo Fisher. A much better defense is what my expectation is with Mike Elko as a defensive coordinator and historically Alabama last six times they played Texas A&M five times they've failed to beat Texas A&M by more than 19 points they won't do so here take Texas A&M plus 22 and we'll have more team previews and more videos pregame.com